Hey guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to a weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 46 commitments of traders report of 2019. And as we always do, we shall start our analysis with the largest changes in commercials positions. You may see we have the coffee market on top of our list with a 29% change in commercials positions, much greater than average change size. It is, of course, bearish. Uh, interesting to see both commercials and large speculators at the moment being net short only small speculators taking the long side of the market which in itself might sound uh, very bearish but let's open the five years chart and see a wider perspective of the market now here you can easily tell that we are more or less in between the two major extremes that can be visible on this five years time span this bearish this magnificent bearish cot extreme signal which uh, uh signaled this top over there and this uh, not so effective bullish extreme, which as you may see, uh, ended this rally, uh, this decline, or it seemed, uh, seemed to end it, uh, but eventually the market uh, has gone back and we're in low territories, uh, no question about that. So we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks, months, but there's definitely a bearish COT chain signal present at the moment. Okay, Australian dollars in the next market with a 23% change in commercials positions in this case we are talking about a bullish cot chain signal suggesting some rise may happen early next week we had a, a decent decline this week a uh, little bit of rebound on friday uh, and this signal in itself suggests that we could see this uh, rebound continue uh, pushing the market a bit higher early next week now moving on to the five years chart we can see that we're still closer to bullish cot extreme levels uh, no surprise uh, the market did not react to this bullish extreme from September of last year. Uh, it actually, uh, the, the, the extreme decreased, uh, but we're still at uh, close to bullish COT extreme levels. If you look at how far away traders can go towards the bearish side, we're definitely, uh, we can state that we're still closer to bullish COT extreme levels. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, from the COT extremes perspective, I would not be surprised if the Australian dollar uh, could continue its decline. Uh, the COT chain signal, of course, is a short-term signal suggesting uh, it could uh, it could rise a bit um, in the near term, but doesn't necessarily have any effect on the medium to long term. So it's it's, it's really the extreme that could uh, uh, paint us a picture for the medium to long term. The next market is the Kansas City wheat. We have a 20% change over there again, uh, bearish. Although you may see the last three days, trading days of the week, uh, uh, the wheat, uh, the Kansas wheat has uh, declined. So we'll see how this continues on next week. And if we jump over to the five years chart, uh, then you can see that we are a bit closer to bearish COT extreme levels. Uh, not much to tell, actually, if you look at. So this is really a good example when you open such a chart. Just you know, move over. Not much, not much to see over here. Let's uh, search uh, much greater opportunities and I mean we have over 60 markets to analyze so for surely we're gonna find something more interesting and here we go we have the VIX we've been talking about the VIX in the la last couple of reviews a huge all-time COT extreme uh, in both uh, large speculators and commercials uh, of course the stress level has arisen to even higher levels uh, as as the VIX is uh, dropping this, of course, has an inverse uh, story to tell about stock indexes. Uh, so that's something you should keep in mind. This bullish extreme over here could actually be a very good bearish uh, signal over there. So uh, the next market is soybean oil with a 110 report extreme in large speculators, 111 report extreme in commercials. This is, of course, a bearish uh, COT extreme that could easily continue its uh, path to larger stress levels so that's something you should uh, not forget uh, nevertheless it is suggesting that we should see the market decline in the next couple of weeks and month and last but not least the Nikkei uh, 47 report extreme over there uh, not much uh, of an extreme of course but if you open this five years chart you can see that interestingly we are still much closer to bullish COT extreme levels so that's something that is of course um, uh, a very exciting thing to see. Uh, we just talked about the VIX having a all-time bullish extreme over there, which can be translated to a bearish extreme in indexes. And here we go. We have the Nikkei in front of us, and we don't see that. So, 
interesting stuff uh, to talk about this week. I very much appreciate your attention. Don't forget you can do a more in-depth and thorough analysis at cotbase.com. We have a lot of great tools uh, at your disposal. Uh, in the settings section, you can see all those. Uh, so again, once again, thank you for being with me in this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.